Hello there everyone, today I'm going to tie a small uh, mayfly and uh, what we're going to do with this mayfly is well, basically what you saw me do there was pull off some uh, some foam that I'm going to apply a bit later on but for now this is going to be fairly straightforward kind of like most other mayflies you've probably seen um, but uh, I assure you this pattern is, is a bit difficult but it is great great looking and um, and it floats like a <laughs> well <laughs> it floats like a motherfucker if you if if I'm allowed to say that well I guess it's my video so I can say what the what the hell I please is well it's gonna float uh, awesome I can assure you about that at least so just using some uh, some olive uh, olive uh, hackle fibers to uh, to tie in to to be the tail then I'm taking some uh, some uh, olive fly ride this is the color 42 the absolutely perfect shade for uh, for a Betis Houdini one of the most numerous uh, mayflies at least in in northern northern Europe then I'm gonna make my body I'm gonna make this uh, tapered so it's thin at the end and then it's gonna be uh, a bit thicker up towards the front of, uh, of the fly like so but I'm not gonna do this completely all the way up because uh, I need room for a lot of other uh, stuff that is going to happen on this fly we're gonna use an enormous amount of foam and some CDC and uh, and <laughs> and the whole whole lot of other stuff so there we have it approximately halfway up the hook then I'm gonna take this uh, this strand of foam I've cut out from uh, from one of these uh, uh, foam sheets and uh, I'm pulling this foam I've made a hole in this foam so I'm pulling it I'm pulling it over the hook and I'm pushing it pulling it all the way back to where the body started And then I'm gonna tie this down right here. Tie this down so you have one piece of the foam that is sticking upright, that is pointing upwards, one that is pointing down. But this is not what I wanted to, so this is just to fasten it. Then I'm pulling the other strand, the one underneath, I'm pulling that back as well and making sure I'm getting uh, a lot of thread here to force it backwards really force it back like so so far so good then I'm gonna make a small oh sorry not gonna make the dubbing loop just yet I'm gonna take a couple of CDC feathers you can also use uh, poly yarn if you if you like that but I like the CDC feathers for, for this fly then I'm gonna take two CDC feathers I think. I think two will be sufficient. Making sure that they are of equal length like so. Then I'm tying those down so they will become the wing of the fly. This is if if you saw it it's it's very similar to uh, to the uh, to the uh, uh, Oh, to, to the caddis fly I made uh, like this, cutting off the leftover CDC feathers, just tying those down and applying a bit more thread here, and then I'm gonna make a dubbing loop, and into this dubbing loop I'm gonna put some CDC. Just gonna hang this over here so I have everything under control. Taking some CDC feathers here, just stripping both sides of them and, and throwing the CDC down in a bundle on the, on my desk. Uh, the CDC is is absolutely amazing for uh, for uh, dry flies. I use it 
often and as much as I can for as many things as, as I can because it's simply, well, it outshines almost every other material there is to get your hands on uh, when it comes to, to floatability and, uh, and, uh, and availability and, and just, well, it's, it's just, well, just great. Nothing, not much more to it than it's. It's just, it's just fantastic. It works like a charm. I think I have about the amount of CDC here I need. Just making it a bit more even in length by pulling it apart and uh, putting it back together. So you see, I have a kind of like a, a big giant hairball of uh, of these CDC feathers, CDC feather strands. Taking this hairball, putting it in my dummy loop, like this. Taking my dummy twister, this has been used quite a lot today. I think actually I'm gonna clean it before we can move on. And then just turning this, spinning my dubbing twister. As you can see, this <laughs> looks quite a lot of, there's quite a lot of CDC here. And that is uh, kind of the point. Uh, it's better to use a bit too much. You can always just pull it out if, if it, but here is uh, way, well, way, way, way too much, I can see. Single turn more, like that. And I'm gonna tie this down. Well, actually, here was for CC enough for two or three flies, maybe. <laughs> um, well, that was not part of what um, what I intended to happen here. So I'm just gonna be fairly quick to uh, to. <laughs> To reload my th my my bobbin, and uh, hopefully I can I can save this because this is was actually kind of the most crucial point of this entire fly, and for that accident to happen right there was well not very uh, in, not as I intended it. Okay. Well, I think I managed to uh, to save the situation. What I'm doing now is. After I've cut out this leftover strand, the tying thread, is I take this lower part of the foam take it up here and then tie it down. All the while I'm pulling in the foam so that uh, on the underside of this uh, you will get a, a bulge of foam but not uh, but not a too big a bulge like that then the next part is for me to make a hole in the foam so I can pull the eye through this foam and uh, make a small head on my mayfly like that keep everything in order be sure you know where your wing is then tie a very very cautious very gentle th uh, stroke with the thread up back to where the wing is take your hackle or, or your your CDC uh, the CDC from the loop and just pull it where you want it and oops like that tie down the foam once more then you pull it tightly in the thread cut it off um, Adjust the amount of CDC you have coming out of the sides of this uh, this this mayfly. 
I'm trimming it so it actually matches what I would like it to be, like so. Then I'm making my whip finish down here where uh, where I tied down the, the foam, like that. Cutting off my tying thread. And of course the last thing you need to do is you need to cut this last piece of foam off as well. But you can decide the angle of the wing by how much of that foam you're gonna rip off. So there you have it. A nice small... Well this is actually a bit larger than uh, what I supposedly would have used for uh, for this one, there's still too much CDC here for my liking. I'm gonna cut it, I'm gonna trim it a bit more. Like so. But, well, as I was saying, if you really want this to be uh, realistic, you can just I can't find the black one, so I'm using a blue one, but you get the idea. Just attach two small eyes there in the, in the front of the fly, and then you have a uh, mayfly pattern that will float literally forever. It will always stand uh, true, and uh, and it has the right profile when seen from uh, from un underneath, from uh, from the trout's point of view. And since it's made made basically of, of CDC and uh, and uh, foam, this will, will, as I said, float forever. Um, small, small um, mayfly. Well, those were the words. Hope you enjoyed. Uh, remember to, uh, of course, to subscribe. <laughs> Thank you.